psychic reading so how do you guys feel about psychics mediums and the crazy crows that are cocaine um so we had a viewer who is a psychic medium named clayton reach out to josh and i and had wanted to do a reading for josh before josh shared too much of who he was because he wanted to be legit and kind of prove his worth as a medium so we did a psychic reading this week with him and another medium named shannon and so here are the results now at the beginning of the video he's going to tell a little about how a psychic reading goes and some of the different things that you may hear along the way but get into the reading a little bit because once he starts tapping into josh um he talks about things that are pretty amazing things i have never known about josh things stories he has never shared things from way long ago and he hits the nail right on the head so check it out this honor and pleasure i want to talk to y'all a little bit about how this works okay. um ways for people to pass and then i want to also talk about uh, why things that we say can be wrong, and then also what we need from you and about going direct or indirect. So let me explain what that means. So how this will work. Both of us, were both different mediums, so every medium connects to spirit in a different way. The way I work, for instance, is I see things and I just know things, and sometimes I feel things. Um, for the most part, it's either seeing, hearing, knowing, or feeling. Uh, and those are the clairs. And that's how spirit communicates to us in their own language. That doesn't matter. That's why it doesn't matter if they were from a different country. They're not speaking to us in English. They're giving us pictures and they're giving us knowingness and things like that. So it's kind of a bit of a different language. Um, my predominant clairs is clairvoyance, which is seeing and just knowing and the feeling. I don't know what, what Shannon said. Mine too. That's I'm how, how I would. Hers yeah. are very similar. Um, and then ways to pass. This is very important because I know you know there's tons of different ways to pass, but we like to put it into categories. There's four categories to pass, okay? First is natural causes. So that's going to be cancer. That's going to be heart attack. That's going to be anything that would have happened of the body. So if I say, I feel like this person passed of the body, I'm saying natural causes, okay? Mm -hmm. Also, there's homicide, suicide, and then there is um, tragedy. Tragedy would be some type of accident, a car accident, something crazy that happened at work, anything like that. So okay. we'll try to bring it into one of those categories, or at least I will. Shannon may work a little different, but I try to bring it into one of those categories, and then I go more. And sometimes it is difficult for me to get the exact um, who the person is connected to you. So if you have a pretty good idea who I'm talking about, I may go ahead and ask, now, how is this person connected? And all I need is the relationship, not the name, just the relationship. Okay. And then it's like a door opens and the, everything floods in. Um, so I want to say that. And then what we need from you. Oh, why things can be wrong. Okay, so things can be wrong for a couple different reasons when we give the information now. The number one reason is psychic amnesia. Because it is not on the front of your mind at the moment, you may not remember or recall what I'm talking about. Another thing could be that you simply just don't know the information that's coming through. You need to ask another loved one, someone who would know that person very well. Mm -hmm. um, Another reason could be is they're talking about something in the future, something that's not happened yet. And finally, the fourth reason, we could just be wrong. You know, <laughs> we're, we're not afraid to admit it. <laughs> um, and then also, then what we need from you is yes, no, I'm not sure. So when we ask, do you understand that? We just need a simple yes, no, I'm not sure. Um, it's saying my internet is unstable. I hope it's okay. I hope y'all are getting it. Okay. Yeah, you're fine right now. Okay, okay. cool. Um, so yeah, I just need you to speak up. You're gonna want to do your head like this. Speak up. Use your voice because you're, okay. they get very happy when they hear the voice. Okay. Okay. And then the last thing I want to talk about is going direct or indirect. 
So I may go directly to Josh and say, okay, I have a person here for you and go directly to him. Shannon may all of a sudden not go direct and she may just start spewing out information. That means when we don't go direct, y'all both need to listen to what's being said. And does okay. that apply to my loved one or does that apply to his loved one? And then kind of raise your hand and then we'll work with whoever. Okay. 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 Um, I don't, I feel like I'm gonna go direct a little bit. Um, if it's all right with you, Shannon, I'm going to start it off. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, cool. I'm nervous. So another thing you may see. Oh, don't be nervous. Look how. Wait, you're muted. Yeah. I think. I think his sound cuts out because of the internet. Maybe. The internet. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. can hear you. You're muted. Hmm. Oh no! There, there you go. go. Oh, okay, y'all can hear me now? Yep. Yeah, go. Okay, that was so <laughs> Okay, all right. So I do have a gentleman from the spirit side of life who wants to step forward. He tells me that his passing was either quick or unexpected. I do feel I'm connecting with you, Josh. He does feel like he's above you. So this is either gonna be your dad or it's gonna be your grandfather. So do you connect with a man who passed very quickly, unexpected type of nature? Could be either a father or grandfather connected to you? Yes. Would you also understand there a military connection as well that's connected? Yes. Okay. Because there's a very strong military connection that comes through. And also they're laboring my breathing like I can't really breathe. So that either means someone passed of the lungs or the heart. Does that connect to you as well? Yes. Okay. Does that connect with the father that I'm pulling forward or is that someone else? Because I don't always know. Sometimes they talk over each other. That, that's somebody else. Okay, yeah. so I have a bunch of different people all trying to talk to me at once. I knew this would happen. Okay. Yep. Uh, then I'm also, I'm getting memories of being like out on the dock fishing. I feel like I'm out on the dock fishing. Does that make sense to you? Do you hold that memory with someone that would be in spirit or would be important of somehow? Yes. Okay. And who does that connect with? Well, one of my grandfathers. Okay, cool, and, cool, cool. And I, I don't know if I should say there's one of your grand just I'll lead it. Uh does okay. one of your grandfathers also have a connection to the military? Yes. Okay, that's where I'm getting it, like from yep. back over there. Yep. Um so your father's still living. Yes. yes. Okay. So this is grandfather's coming forward. Yes. Um, all right. So uh, yeah, I do have them coming through quite strongly wanting to bring their love forward. Also, I have a little old lady stepping forward who I do feel to be like your grandmother. I feel like she would have been very good with her hands. I see her very much, I know this is common, but I see her in the kitchen doing things and I see her as a busybody doing all kinds of stuff. But I feel like towards the end of her life, she was quite sick or ill because she shows me a hospital bed. That's my symbol for she was either on hospice, in and out of the hospital, or she passed in the hospital but it's like it was a slow decline in her life. It wasn't a snap and brought her over. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Okay, and I feel like her baking was really good. Like she could really bake and really cook. Like That's that is something that is coming through very important. Okay. Spot on. So I have to mention that, okay. Also, they're telling me that you're named after someone. Your name comes down somewhere from the family. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, I don't know who you're named after, but they're telling me to mention that you're a namesake. Okay, yeah. and I also feel like the name carries on into your children. I don't know if that would make sense as well. Yeah, perfect sense. Okay, awesome. Um, so cool. <laughs> All right. Now there's something, I don't know what this has to do. I've never seen this before. So I forgot to tell you, I work with what I call a spirit dictionary and it's a sign and bank of symbols that the spirit world has worked with me over time. And when they show me certain things, I know what it is that they're trying to say. When they show me something I've never seen before, I don't quite know how to interpret it. And I really don't know how to interpret this. Um, she showed me a frying pan. I have no idea what the significance of that is, but it's like a cast iron frying pan. Yeah, I so, think I do. Okay, yeah. if you know what she's talking yeah. about, that's, that, that's the important thing, okay? Yep. I feel like she, she just kind of pushed your grandfather out of the way and was like, hey, I'm going <laughs> to 
minute. <laughs> so, um, that sounds about right. Um, so uh, I feel like you were around her quite a bit when you were young. Does that make sense to you? I feel like you were around her quite a bit when you were young. Yes. Um, and I feel like she passes around. You were in your teens, it feels like. Is that right? Mm -hmm. If not who I'm thinking of, but that is very possible because I could be thinking of a great grandma too. Okay. So. Well, I'm just, I'm going to come back to that because I keep getting the number 13 for some reason, but I'll come back. Um, okay. Also, there's something significant that she's talking about with her recipes being passed down or someone has her recipes. So this is something important. If you don't know about this, you may want to talk to your parent. I feel like though, mom's side of the family is wanting to come forward as well. So I don't know if we've been talking to dad's side of the family, I didn't ask, but it's definitely being shown to me mom's side of the family. So does what I've said so far make sense for mom's side of the family? If what you said so far to me makes sense more to my dad's side. Okay. So we're just kind of jumping around here. All right, I got it. Um, you ask them for one simple thing, one at a time, and you know they don't listen. <laughs> all right. Um, okay, I feel like I'm just gonna be going all over the place with this, okay? Because now I'm seeing like a can of change. So do, did one of your grandfathers, did they collect change or hold on to change? And maybe they, collected old change like in a book and like collected it type thing or it was just that they had a big stash of it and if you don't connect to that does one of your grandfathers hide money or do you find pennies frequently i mean i find i do find pennies frequently okay and, and then that might be it and i don't want to make it fit well one of one of my grandpas used to hide money all the time too Okay, like so the books symbol and... I was shown, the symbol I was shown, when they show me a thing, a jar of change, yeah. that's my symbol for they either hid money or that they send you pennies. So I think it's his way of both acknowledging who he is, and it's also his way of saying, hey, I send you these pennies. No, they come from me. Wow. Because I feel like you get them quite frequently. It's not something just every now and then. Yeah, um, I, I always find pennies. Yeah, oh. hold on to those because those definitely come to you from your loved ones. That's very important for you to know. And I just want to mention really quick, Carrie, there's a lady that's standing right behind you. I don't know who she is yet. I feel like she's a grandmother connected to you, very much loves you, very much has a big heart and soul. I feel like she was very connected within the community that she was in and was very well known. I feel like she would have been good with either knitting or like crocheting, but she was good with her hands. Do you understand this so mm -hmm. far? Yes. Okay. And I feel like her hair, her hair was always beautifully done. Like, I think she really loved how her hair was. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Okay. And also there's something important or significant about a pair of earrings that was either passed down or that you would know about. If you no. say no to this, I'm going to tell you to go and ask your parent because no, I'm pretty no confident. No specific, no specific earrings, no. Okay. I'm pretty confident she's telling me something about earrings. So maybe not to you, but there's something she's bringing up to me about earrings that would be important. But this okay. lady definitely feels very connected throughout the family. I also feel like towards the end of her life, it could have been earlier than that, but I'm definitely seeing... I feel like, did she wear glasses as well? She did. Okay, because that's what I'm seeing as I'm talking to her. I don't see her whole body. I see bits and pieces of it. And I just saw the glasses there. Um, so I do know that that's important that she wants to bring over. Um, this lady gives a lot of love though, because I feel like she was really kind of like the glue that held a lot of the family together. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, and I feel like family was very important with her, like very important. Family was everything. Um, and as I connect to this lady, now it's interesting, a gentleman comes through and holds hands with her. So that tells me that her husband or her significant other would be in spirit with her. Would that be correct? Yes. Okay, and 
The holding of the hands is my symbol for that the two of them are together. So this just lets you know that these two are together. Now, what was up with your grandpa and he couldn't hear very well? That was would be a different grandpa. <laughs> but you have another grandfather who couldn't hear very well. Yeah, not they the do best. They talk over each other sometimes. So there was one that didn't hear very well? Yeah, just kind of old old man not That's hearing. That's fine. Let me, let me work with it. I'll work with it. I know you need me to give you some strong info here. So let me work with <laughs> it. Hey, I, I can't promise what'll happen. I'm just doing my best here. Um, but for some reason I kept seeing like uh like old guns. Old guns. I don't know what that has to do with anything. I don't mm -hmm. know if I have a bunch of people talking over each other or if that makes sense with your grandfather. Yes. It does. And is that something that wouldn't be public knowledge? I, I don't know about public. I really, really stressed to them. I was like, hey, y'all got to tell me some shit that nobody knows. <laughs> because Carrie's a skeptic and wants to believe. I know. I know. Um, yeah, I don't Nothing. know if it's not public knowledge, but I'm, yeah, I mean, there's, there's definitely an it's Okay. And these yeah. are older type of guns, much older. Yes. I yes. feel like antique type of guns, okay? Very much. Um, and this is connected with the father who couldn't hear very well? Uh, no, the other the one. The other one that was coming through first, okay. And maybe he couldn't oh, hear, but I don't know. He died when I was little. There's something so. that's being shown to me about he either had a walker or couldn't walk very well. Um. Yeah, the other... Well, one of them had a walker towards the end, but not the other okay. one. So what's happening is they're both just coming through and talking over each other, but they're both here letting you know that their love is here with you. But I did want to touch on, on your side for a minute um, because that was quite strong that they're, they're making themselves known. Um, okay, now there's something that they're <laughs> talking about, like with your mom, I don't know why, but they're bringing me over to your mom. And I don't know if your mom has been under a lot of stress lately or has had a lot on her plate. Does that make sense with you and your mom? She always does. <laughs> okay. Well, I feel like they're saying like she needs to slow down and pay more attention to what's going on. Like not saying anything is going on, but she needs to pay attention to her health and the stuff that's going down. Because I feel like she's always worried about other people rather than herself. And she doesn't always pay attention to what's going on with herself. And that's like the message that's coming through for her. Okay. Um, so I just want to give that. And then, um, Shannon, you got anything? I'm so absorbed in what you're saying. But um, <laughs> I just wanted to check on one thing that sometimes I just wanted to check on one thing. Because while I was in meditation ahead of time, um i had this this could be nothing um because when i meditate a lot of uh, thoughts go sifting but i heard the name like somebody had a short named i want to say her name was elizabeth but it was shortened to libby or something like that does that resonate with you at all because i just kept hearing libby that's funny i heard the name elizabeth yeah, too Did not you? with me no okay yeah. i just again we'll, we'll write it down we'll take a note of it because i i Libby came to me and I don't haven't heard that name in so long. Um, the mm -hmm. other thing was, I think that it was whoever that is showed me her face. And this is so interesting because I didn't really feel into it, but she was showing me something significant about her nose. And I just kept kind of, she kept zooming me in on her nose and it seemed to be something that was like more of a, a physical thing than like a health thing. It almost felt like, maybe she thought she had a big nose or there was some joke about her having a big nose but if that doesn't resonate we can just put it aside but it was honestly it was while i was just sort of walking around the house that i had this image so i don't know where it came from but yeah. i felt zoomed in on this woman's face and her nose and there was something about her having like a wide nose with wide nostrils and i know that's <laughs> strange and so i even was not sure of it but sometimes when i don't say it I regret it later. So yeah. yeah. 
you could shelve it for now and we'll just kind of keep an eye on it. And if anything else comes to me, that's fine. Um, okay. well, I got a lot more if you, if you're, uh, keep going. No, no, keep going. Cause that's the whole point. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, those random little has there been, is somebody expecting a baby in the family? And either, either one, either yes, one. both of us. Either um, one of the family. Mm -hmm. Not that All I All right, so then I'm going to go to what this symbol means next. So when I see spirit hold a baby, that means that either a baby, and I mean baby, I know about your needs, but this is like a baby. Um, so somebody either miscarried or lost or had a stillbirth or lost a baby, like young and pregnancy type of thing. Mm. Ooh. I, I kind of vaguely have a connection to something like that, I guess. Well, tell me what you're thinking. Well, I'm thinking of one of my sisters. Okay. Do you know if one of them had a miscarriage? I'm not really sure what happened. Okay. But I'm not going to dwell on this too much, but I do want to say, you know, okay, there's two in the spirit world okay there's two i i have to say that i don't know who they're connected to but they're in the family somewhere so um i i wish i could give you more that would help but i know it's your grandparents josh that are holding these children so that is i know it's your side of the family um so but we'll work on that in a minute if it's uh, really important they'll come back and give it to me differently Okay. Um, now, who's the police officer or the firefighter or something like that connected to you? That would probably be my great uncle David. He was an LA cop. Yeah, because what I exactly what I saw was a cop's uh, badge. That's exactly yep. what I saw. He like was putting it in my face, like yeah, I couldn't was, miss it. So, and this would be who? This would be my grandma's brother, my great uncle. Your great uncle okay. yep, on my dad's side. Okay. Yep. And I never, I never knew him. He, he you never knew him. Well, no. he really is just coming forward because I'm asking him, well, if you didn't know him, what did you come forward to say? He said, I just want him to know how loved he is, how incredibly loved he is. And I want to tell you, there's about 30 people here in spirit and they're all connected to y'all. They're not people you've worked on, not people that have come through work. This is all people in love connected to you guys. So there's quite a lot of people over here. So you have a lot of people that are just gonna be jumping in real quickly and saying what they gotta say and jump out. But I gotta get them to give me a piece of information before I just let them step back. But I know that that was important um, and that he comes through to give his love. Um, yeah now also i want to talk about somebody who passed in a tragedy somebody who either passed in a car accident or a tragedy and i feel this to be a young soul young to me is anybody who passed before we thought was their time but yeah. it feels young and somebody who passed in a car accident it was very tragic do you understand that josh yes okay um and would you understand this to be a male yeah, young it's a man. man. A young yeah. man. Okay. Because he comes through and he like punches you on the chat on the shoulder. He's like, hey man, like he's talking to you like he's real cool with you. So um I don't know what the connection is. It feels like y'all are but y'all were buddies, y'all were good friends. And if y'all were family, it feels like y'all were real tight. I don't know. That's anyway. well, and I'm there's a couple people that come to mind right now, but like okay, part, so there's a part. couple of people that passed in that manner yeah i've had okay. a, i've had a few friends and a couple family members pass okay track. Stop. let me stop you and let me just figure out where i'm going here okay this is weird okay they keep showing me the switching of the seat this is a significant passing okay this is a passing that you would significantly know about because what they keep showing me is the switching of the seats. And that's my symbol for either survivor's guilt or like 
maybe you were supposed to be there and wasn't, or someone was supposed to be there and wasn't, and plans changed in the end. But it's like they keep showing me the switching of the seats. And then um, I also want to say, too, I don't know if it was the person who passed or the other person, because I feel like this, there was two people involved. Maybe not, but there's something to do with alcohol I need to mention. So either someone was under the influence, and it may not be alcohol, but it's some sort of substance. So I feel like some would have, someone would have been under the influence. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yep. This person that we're we're thinking of. The it, it was involved in it. It wasn't the person directly though. The, okay. What, the what I'm, other person. Correct. That's fine. I just knew it was involved somehow. Yep. Um, because he's making me feel like you know this was not my fault. This was not my fault. But what's weird is I have another person coming forward saying how he passed. It was his fault. Like he put his. He put himself in that situation or he was where he shouldn't have been or something. So I have another person coming through talking about, you know, it, either they take the responsibility or it was their fault or something of that nature. Um, wow. But I want to talk to this other man who's talking to me about that it wasn't his fault. And I feel like he was a young man, very young man when he passes. Does that make sense? <sighs> Not right offhand, no. Okay, hold on. Um, did you go to school with somebody that would have passed in a, in like a motor vehicular accident or something? Yeah. Yep. Okay, because I'm being shown my symbol of the, the uh, what's it called? The letterman's jacket. That just yeah. tells me you went to school with him. And then he's telling me that's how you would know him, and that's how y'all are connected. Um, but it feels like y'all were involved in, like, extracurriculars or things outside of school. Like, y'all yeah. were buddies is the way he puts it to me. Y'all were good buddies. Yeah. So I, I hope you understand that. He really is just coming through to give you his love and let you know that he is okay. And there's something about either survivor's guilt or feeling some type of guilt or remorse over you could have done something maybe, or you feel like things should have been different or something of that nature. Does any of that make sense to you? Mm, a little bit. It's, it's a little hard for me to follow just because I've had, when I was younger, like I said, there was a few people that I grew up with and were fairly close to that right. have passed away tragically, whether they were murdered or accidents. Or it's hard. It's hard too when I have, and I'm not just making excuses. It's really hard right. when there's a lot of people that passed of the same way because that's usually how I have them identify who they are is by how they pass. Right. Um, so I'm trying to just get more nuggets of information. Specifically, though, I need to talk about the kid you went to school with. So that is the specifics. And he's saying, this is how you know me, um, is by school. And then there's something about like a, a ring, like a school ring or something like that. Um, I'm just going to write that down. OK. All right, so it does feel like I'm going all over the place here. Um, I definitely feel like there's this young man, he wants to get across to you that he's doing okay, that he's been watching out for you, uh, and that he gives a lot of love. He comes through almost like a brother to you. Um, you don't have a brother past, do you? No. Okay. Because this man comes through as though, like, the, around the time that he passed, like, y'all were very close, almost like brothers. Um, is the way it feels and tell me if that's that's wrong i know we don't know who exactly it is but um you know there i mean there was a, there was a couple friends of mine you know high school ish age who mm -hmm. who passed and okay. would you have known of one that would have taken their own life yeah that's who i'm thinking of. okay because i i feel like i have there's one yeah. man who's coming forward who's saying no it was not my fault then I have another man coming in 
and saying, yes, this was my fault. I do take the responsibility. Yeah. Um, and, and that's, I, still, well, I don't mean to interrupt you, but when you were talking about like car wreck and alcohol, I'm thinking about one person. Okay. But I was thinking about this particular buddy, but yeah, he killed himself. Okay. Because yeah. he does show me like he took his own life, like that was his own thing. He does show regret is. towards this, but he does show that he is with God. So it's very important for people to know. People in the family may have said stuff, but he is with God. He is on the other side in a great place. Um, he's very happy where he's at now. I want to say it feels like he was with his moods and stuff were very up and down. I feel like he dealt with depression or something of that nature because yeah. he wasn't always quite there mentally. Um, but he comes forward now in such a wonderful way. He's actually glowing, vibrant as I talk to him. Um, I want to say this has been 10 plus years. Is that correct? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah was... I, I, I want to say it's 10 plus years since his passing. And um, <clears throat> okay, what's that? Okay. I don't know if the month of March makes any significant to you. So birthdays, anniversaries, or passings. Um, but I'm getting March. Again, that could be going all over the place. Um, but that's what I've got right now. And I also have November. Um, so Carrie, some of that could connect to you. I just want to yeah, say March and November something is about March and very November. much me. I was going to say that's I'm that neither one's really uh -oh. ringing a bell with people around me. Yeah, that's there we go. It, I can hear you. Okay. Well, wait. I could. Oh, this internet. He's been it's been doing good so far. Ah, uh, frustrating. There we can go. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah. you're caught I'm, up now. Y'all can hear me. I yes. just can't hear you. <laughs> Oh. oh okay oh, hopefully it'll catch up in just a second but um anyway so care just nod your head yes you connect with march and november yes okay um because i know those are important dates that they just kept yelling at me that i needed to mention um i don't know their significance but i also have to say um Someone, do you have some, uh, Josh? Yes. Do you have someone's dog tag? Mm, no. Mm -mm. no. Okay, or there wouldn't be, I know there's something that sometimes people will do and get the fingerprint as a memorial item. Is there something that would look like dog prints like that? Or dog, not dog prints, dog, you know what they're called. Right, right. Uh... Not that I can think of right off. Either one of you, actually. Either one of you, if either one can connect. Mm -mm. Okay, that's fine. Um, that may come later on, but I was seeing dog tag. So, Carrie, how does March and November connect? Uh, my niece was born in March and died in November. Okay, got it. So, I want to say your niece is trying to come forward. Um, so, I am going to let her step in, okay? Um, I'm going to try to get her to be as super accurate as I possibly can. Okay. <laughs> she's grown up quite a bit. She's showing me because she shows me a young child and then she grows herself up. And I want to say I'm in my early twenties with her, um, or my late teens, but definitely early twenties, maybe somewhere around that age is the way she looks. But I know she was young and she shows me she was young and then she grows. So that's her way of saying, I've grown on the other side. I, I haven't stayed the same age. I've grown. And she keeps saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. You keep my memory alive. Thank you for thinking of me. Thank you for all the little things that you do to make sure that I'm alive. Thank you for talking to your kids about me so they know who I am. She keeps saying all this, like, thank you for all the things that you do. Thank you for bringing the awareness that you bring to what happened to me. Thanks for all that you have done. Thank you for all the time that you have put on hold to take care of her and to put her memory out there because she does not feel at all forgotten because you have kept her memory alive. 
she says that she showed me my symbol of the balloons letting go. That's my symbol for you still celebrate somebody's birthday even though they've passed. So does that make sense with her? It's like you still would celebrate her birthday. Okay, and that's the way she's giving it. As a matter of fact, I wanna talk about not her, but is there somebody else whose birthday is just about to come up or just passed? That has died? No, living. Yeah. Who, who would that be? Both my daughters and myself in the last like week. Oh, I, was cake How, with I swear to God, I did not know that. I did yeah. not know that. Uh, I kept but, seeing a birthday cake with the wax with the wax numbers on top, like the ones that you put on top. And it looked to me, I mean, it may not be the actual number, but it looked like 18 and I, and um, but I was seeing a cake and candles. But again, you know, I'm, I, I don't think her kids are 18 and I don't, I don't think, think they are 18. either. No, <laughs> but there's a seven and a nine laying on my counter at home right now. Yeah, but there yeah, it's those big. It's yeah, the like wax numbers. The like yeah. wax numbers. And I saw them as blue and white in my mind. It doesn't mean that that's exactly what they were, but yeah. that's how I received them in my mind. So yeah. again, I didn't speak up because he's on such a roll, but I can't see. <laughs> you can jump in, Shannon. Just jump on <laughs> in there. You. But after a couple no's, I'm like, oh gosh, what if I'm like banana? And you're like, no. <laughs> I'm like, uh, pineapple. <laughs> it's just like, go home. Yeah. <laughs> but well, yeah, I was definitely getting that from. from someone well i i definitely think it's her her niece who's coming through yeah. and it's her niece your niece is the one saying happy birthday it's really coming from her to say happy birthday and she is literally showing me the symbology of you grabbing on to her mother and pulling her like out of the depths of despair like you pulled her mother out of like a trench symbolically does that make sense to you? Yeah, I don't know that that's, I mean, accurate, it makes sense, but I don't know that I did that, but. Well, I'm not saying you literally did that. I'm saying that's the way it's being shown, like you pulled her out of a darkness that she was in. Okay. And that's more along the lines of what she's saying, but they speak gotcha. symbolically a lot. So that's why I was seeing you like pulling her out. But okay. does that make sense? Like that you helped her like to get out of a dark place is mm -hmm. the way it feels like. Um, she's saying, oh, that's very interesting. Um, okay, I get, I've got to say it, but I, I'm like, I don't want to say it. Um, okay, she says, she says, I've made up, I'm just repeating what I hear, okay? Don't shoot the messenger, okay? She said, I have made up with my dad, whatever that means. So mm -hmm. is her dad with her in spirit? I hope not. Is he in spirit? Yes. Okay, he's with her in spirit. But the way I'm seeing it is he's down here and she's up here. So mm -hmm. I do see it and it's less like I can communicate with him but I do know he is in the spirit world. It's just, she's at a higher vibration than he's at. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I, and I think he was the one who took her life. Is that right? Right. Yeah, I, and I remember that from you, not them. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, uh, I do wanna say that the two have, they're not great by any means, but they have, they have, they're okay with each other. They don't hang out or things like that, but they're okay. And she's she's saying, you know, okay. She's saying a lot of people remember how I died, mm -hmm. but they don't remember the years that I lived before that sometimes. All they can remember is the way I died. And right. she, I want people to remember how vibrant I was, how vibrant my soul was, how much I loved to, to learn, how she liked to be in the outdoors, also how she liked animals and things of that nature and the important things of her life. She also liked to draw. Like, I feel like she was very creative in that way. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, because she shows like very, being very creative. 
And she's like, those are the things I want to be remembered for, not the way I passed. That was a very small thing. And she's saying, um, she's saying when she's saying when it's y'all's time to know, y'all will know the full thing. Y'all will know why things happen the way they did. Because I do feel there's a lot of why. A lot of why did this happen? And then there was also a lot of pointing of the finger they're showing me. So like playing the blame game or you know, could if I had only done this type of thing, and she's saying, no, stop that, cut that out. Whoever's doing that, they need to let that go. Because when you hold on to negative emotions like that, it keeps you from moving on or moving forward and being able to heal. And her primary purpose for today is coming forward is to say, go, heal. I'm not turning in my grave, none of that. I'm happy, I'm in a wonderful place. And I'm where the angels are singing. You know, that's basically what she is showing me and telling me. So she wants that to be known. She says, so um, there was some very special things. Uh, she's talking about some very special times that she had with your, your mother, I feel. It would be her grandmother, but she's talking about some very special moments that she would have had with her. Um, there's something though, I want to say there's something about, I think your mom used to, there was a memory coming through and I think it's your mom, if I'm not mistaken, would take her out or take the family out when it was her birthday or something like that. So I don't know if that makes sense right now, mm -mm. Uh, but of course I could be wrong, but maybe later it hits you and you know what I'm talking about. Uh, you never know. Uh, but there is something coming forward about that. But she does come through with a lot of love and she just puts her arms around you and just hugs you, hugs you, hugs you like a real strong hug. And there's also something about it's like, I think it's silver, but it's like a box, but it's not a box. It's like padded -y with velvet type stuff inside the box. But it's not a box. It's like a it's it's um God, this is hard to explain. It's like a like metal that you maybe would put like pieces of jewelry in, or you might would just put little things in, but it's like a metal type of box that has like velvet linings on the inside of it. So I don't know if that makes any sense mm -mm. at all. Mm -mm. No? Okay. Mm -mm. That's fine. And that doesn't I'm, get what I was going to say. I'm not sure how connected I am. Uh oh. I, I'm, but I want to just ask. Again? <laughs> oh. Okay, Clayton, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, I'm not sure how connected I am because I'm so focused on him. I'm not sure if I'm really in the right Crap, energy. I'm but sure. I just want to throw it back. I'm going to just try. <laughs> I'm um, just going to ask you if there's some reason why I would be seeing a seashell, and it's the kind of it's like the kind where you hold it up. It's not that. It's like the kind that's more of like a coil and it gets skinnier at the end yeah. and what I'm, thinking, I'm getting a chill right now so i feel what i'm seeing just to elaborate is um there's something about a shell it when i feel into it and i'm getting chills so i feel good about this i'm seeing the beat i'm seeing a beach but it's not to me it looks more like a uh not like a california beach but just in my mind i'm seeing it as like the carolinas or something like that um that's just what i see in my mind but there's something about that shell it feels as though there's something that you all do in her honor. I don't know if it's as specific as scattering ashes, but it feels as though there's something about this shell or collecting shells or that I'm trying to piece it all together. Does this make any sense to you at all? Would there have been like seashells that she collected or is there something about that kind of a shell? Um, no. No, nothing for me. Okay. Anything, anything for you, Josh? For you. Sure. Well, as far as seashells go, yeah, the, I I can I, I, have feels, a, I have a strong connection with with all that. Thank you. That feels I know it's right. That's the thing. So I'm like I don't I don't want to take away from your niece, but I I definitely just suddenly got this image of. Go yeah, ahead. I feel like I brought through what her niece wanted to say in the first place, and I actually yeah. think that item may be connected to someone else, which I'll get to in a minute when you're done. What? Well, 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and I won't have, and I want to know eventually, but I'll just kind of keep going with that because okay. whoever it is is showing me this, that there's something about as I said, the beach, and there's something significant about this one shell because it doesn't feel like just collecting seashells. It feels as though it's like, that's just, for some reason, that's what's being, hmm. uh, my attention's being drawn to. Um, I, I know that's so vague because I'm, I'm not fully there, but I know there's something about it being significant to this person and that there's an acknowledgement of this person, like an honor, in honor of this person, it's more that I feel like there's more than one person that goes to this beach to sort of and and stands there and there's um, in their honor remembering this person. I'm still I'm still trying to get is I'm like is it a female or is it a male? Um, it, it's uh, it, I almost want to say it. It feels um, my my brain wants to say it's female because of the because of the seashell thing, but I don't think it is. Um, considering that you are uh that that you do it does resonate with you okay i'm wondering if it's two people that's what i'm wondering because i'm like it's i keep going like male female male female it feels like two people almost like two people that come in together mm -hmm. like grandparents it all feels like two people that come in and are together like they're so together that they just come in as two people because you, i cannot you, distinguish between you, you let me know when you want me to say something okay say something just don't tell me too much okay. Uh, it's my grandparents. Okay, that's what I'm. My, that's what I'm feeling. It's my, da it's my dad's parents. Your dad's yeah. parents. That's what I feel because no. when they come in together, there is this sense of they are together. They've been together. They feel very much in love. It feels like one of those we've been together our whole lives. We don't know no. anything different. We'd even die very close to each other, um, like in years. Do you, do you know if that's true um, about that, the? No, my grandma lived quite a few years after my grandpa. Okay but that's the seashell thing with them makes a lot of sense it feels so such big energy and such warm energy from them and seeing them holding hands um and and again it's it's interesting because this the beach i see is one that i've seen it's not i'm from california and i've just moved to virginia but this sort of feels i don't know if this is significant or if i'm just seeing it this way but it does strike me as a place that I've been that's like in the Carolinas, like North Carolina. And I could, that may have nothing to do with it at all, but I'm just giving you what I see because I see more of like a rocky kind of a situation. Um, just a rocky beach, not rocky in yeah. terms of the relationship. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel that I'm getting so many chills from them. So this this is, feels good to me that, um, as I said, I feel they've been together since they were very young. A lot of people grow up together and they've got like, they love each other, but they fight. I feel like they're really best friends. It feels like they have a very good rapport with each other. Um, and that he really kind of says, like, I can't believe that she's like, there's this pride in his feeling towards her. Like he always just thought she was the most beautiful and couldn't believe that she belonged to him. Do you know if that's true? Yeah. That sounds okay. Right. Cause it just feels like he's, did she have blue eyes? I just saw him referring to her beautiful blue eyes that, yep that charmed him when they first met okay thank you um thank you to you and thank you to them as well it i want some i'm doing the same thing where i'm like come on something real specific <laughs> but again i'm just trying to go with what they're giving me and not try to make it fit because that's when yeah um but it, he says something about like it's her blue eyes that he noticed before he even spoke with her just it, it's almost like he sees her and he just knows that's going to be the person and she the wore glasses too correct yes sir yeah i'm just seeing her. and who passed of like an aneurysm, a stroke, or Alzheimer's dementia. Because like my head is pounding at the moment. Yep. Yeah, yes. that's, that's that's accurate. Okay, is that, that makes her. Sense. Yeah, that's that my grandma. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yep. You can keep going, Shannon. No, that's okay. I was getting such a bad headache. I had to slip in. I, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I, yeah, I I uh, I don't usually get headaches with Alzheimer's. I get di dizzy, but I do have pressure right here under the neck, like right around here. Um, and I feel like, did she pass before he did? Because oh, no, no, okay. It's the other way around. It's the other way around. Okay, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Um, it, because it's funny because it feels like she's been always the one that's taken care of him even though he sees her as the softer there's just something he feels like she's i don't know if she's physically diminutive but she just is actually very cute like i can't explain it but like very uh -huh. cute like she feels like a little girl to me and it feels as though 
the love he has for her is so protective. Um, not that she can't take care of herself, but at the same time, she also had a very, was able to take care of him in a way. And that's where that she felt older, just in the sense that she took such good care of him. And it, yeah, because it feels like there's some sort of a switching of roles is what I'm feeling. Um, I at can some tell point. you what it is, because yeah, I'm please. feeling it too. <laughs> I'm yeah. feeling it too. She was a very independent woman, extremely independent. And it was like later into her life, she was going through the transition of not being able to be as independent as she would have liked. Does that make sense to you? Yep. And I feel like she really fought tooth and nail to keep her independent. Yeah, she and did. When her car was taken from her or her keys were taken, that was like, like she freaked out about that and she knew this shit was real you know yep. um but she was pissed know, yeah she was pissed and she thought she was okay that she could drive that she could do what she needed to but she showed me she was paying things twice or she was doing things like over and over when she didn't need to or she'd pay extra on something and like doing crazy stuff like that and um I feel like though, there was somebody, I feel like, I'm just gonna be honest, I feel, was she brought into a nursing home? Yeah, at the end. Yeah, that's what I felt. And she's telling me how she hated it there. Oh, she, she's absolutely. Saying, she's saying a few choice words about the nurses there. <laughs> yeah, she, but, she, did, she didn't like it. Yeah, uh, like but it. she says all in all, in the end my husband came to get me and she awesome. said he was so handsome i just couldn't couldn't go without him um but she does say that there were certain family members that did come by to say their goodbyes i do not feel that she was accompanied by physical loved ones at the time of her passing yeah, i feel yeah. like she was alone and, but she was not spiritually alone as her husband was there to collect her soul so, but I do feel like there wasn't anybody physically in the room. Although people came and said their goodbyes and had their last talks with her, I don't feel like they were physically there when she did depart. That's the, yeah. I mean, I wasn't I wasn't there at the time, but from what I was told, that's pretty accurate. Yes. Okay. Good. Um, because she's just she just wants to say that it was her husband who came to get her. You're. This would be your grandmother who yep. came to, to collect her soul. And it was like they had never left each other, See, you know, cool. and, and and they're still in spirit together and they're just having a blast. And there's something about their dancing together and she's <laughs> dancing. So they must have loved to dance, but specifically the way your grandmother is showing it to me is she was not able to do those types of things in the end. And she's showing now I have these abilities, like now I can dance and I can walk and I can do all these things and not be winded and I and I'm happy. And she wants you to know too that her her mind is as sharp as a tack. She's like, I am it's all there, you know. Awesome. Uh, so that comes to be important. And there's also, did she make really good cookies? Or do you know about that? Oh yeah. She was cookies. she would. When you She's were when giving you, me cookies when you were talking about baking earlier that's immediate who i thought of and she's also the same one i was thinking of when you were talking about the frying pan she, <laughs> okay a, you gotta tell me what that means the she's pie. she she's a hillbilly they're all from tennessee and she made the best uh, homemade fried chicken in a frying pan and me and my cousin used to always request her to make it so, wow and it was I one and, and it was and it was one specific frying pan that as far as i know she had it her whole life i mean she had it the whole time me and uh, you know my cousins were growing up and we were over there all the time yeah so that's that's that's, wild. that's 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 right wild. as soon as you said that clayton that's right where my mind went that's i kind of got a hot flash when you said that it it, me when, when it's something really important they'll bring it back around to me in a different way yeah. they'll bring it back so we'll talk about it, but I think that's very important, you know. Um, and I do think that's what she was talking about when I she showed the frying pan. 
because you have to understand they use what's in our frame of reference. So if I had never, let's say, experienced that before, I would have no clue if she tried to show it to me. Right. So they have to show it to me in things that I've experienced, basically. Um, but there's a lot of love coming from this lady. Uh, also, she loved to read. Do you understand that before her mind started going? Yeah. There was a big attention to reading. And I feel like she may not have been educated smart, but she was definitely book smart. Yep. Like, I feel like she was very with it, like in yep. the head there. Um, so, but she comes through and gives a lot of love to you. Are you the youngest? No. Nope. Oh, that's weird. Uh, uh, and you're not the oldest. Nope. Um, as far as me, there was. I knew you were going to say middle once yeah. I said that. Yeah. But um, that's crazy because it's like there's a special emphasis around you, like a special love around you. That I'm I'm being given quite strongly. That's because I was so awesome when I was growing up. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do you know she uh, used to? Did you? I, this is. Do you know she used to wear? This is so cliche. It sounds like, but I just keep seeing it, and that's like Clayton said. They keep bringing it around when you're like, oh, is that is that generic? But she showed me bright red lipstick. If, if it's in a photo, or would it have been something that when she was younger? Because I just keep seeing the contrast of her big like her blue eyes and these red lips and it feels like when your grandfather i know you may not you weren't there but it feels like when he sees her there's just this beautiful woman across the room and she's got blue eyes and this yeah, this she, lipstick she always wore like a brighter shade of red lipstick when she get dialed up because yep. she just looks like a I'm like a little movie star and i say little because like i said yeah, she's I just so cute i love she was, how you said when she gets dolled up yeah, and that's well, because that's what my grandpa used to call it. That's what he said. That's what my dad called it, but nobody He's down here uses Billy. that. <laughs> Billy May. Yeah. So yeah. cute. Is her name Billy May? Billy May. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. I told you she was literally from the hills down there in Tennessee. Man. Like, but that's, weird. that's kind of like Libby, but flipped. Yeah, kind of. Oh, Billy May. Oh, that's Billy interesting. Instead of I, Libby. Would, I wouldn't say that's close enough. Yeah, I won't. I won't make no, it fit. That's kind of that's of odd. It's. It, it won't make it fit though. It's interesting because when I heard it, I kept hearing it like Libby or Lizzie, like some kind of a um, abbreviation for. What was the her for? What, do you know what Billy was short for? It, no, her her given name was <laughs> Billy, <laughs> Billy May. Stout. From Come Tennessee. On yeah. Come on. It was her, that's right. her, her given name was Billy May Stout. Yep. What she's just and I, but I just feel like she's so. Like when I see her, I'm like, gosh, she's so pretty. Just really pretty is the word that comes to mind. Like, you know, those people, she's like she's so pretty, but also so scrappy. And that's what um kind of yeah. like I just get this energy from her. Like she oh, won't man. let people walk all over her, but she's oh, also like when you see her, she's audio. so demure and pretty. What's what's that, Clayton? He lost Did you audio, cut out? I think. Did we we cut can out? hear you still. Okay. I, oh, y'all can hear me. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I lost audio. Dang it. Okay. Well, I have a few things I want to say as y'all were talking that I was picking up on. Have you, either one of you been looking through photos recently, older photos or looking through photos? Mm, Don't lie to me. No, kinda. I mean, were we, did we go through photos? Explain through what you mean by kinda. Right. And then I'll, I'll, I'll bring it back around. I promise. Did, were we looking at pictures down there in Georgia? Didn't they have the, didn't you have the photo albums out down there or anything? Oh yeah. 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 So y'all were looking at old yes. photos of the family. Yep. Yes. Yes. Because I feel like this is their way of saying we were with you as you were looking in these photos or looking at these photos. Mm -hmm. Also who collected or who collected or had dolls? Dolls? Uh, well, trying to think of who is past that has. It could be somebody living. You have to oh. understand that they mentioned people in the living and the past. Okay, that, make, that makes sense. That makes sense. That would be my other grandma. She's, okay. still, she's still living. Yeah. Okay, and she's got a lot of dolls around her. So her, yes, husband is in, her husband is in spirit, yes? Yes. Yes. 
he's wanting to make notes of her let her know that he's around that he's still giving her lo his, his love and there's something about pecans or pecan pies <laughs> yeah you understand mm -hmm. too? yeah okay and i feel like she would make really good pecan pies or and there's something about going out and picking their own pecans or getting their own pecans do you understand that yeah i think i do okay cool now this gentleman who comes forward talking about the grandmother with the dolls he gives me the sense of a very close shave like i feel like he was a very clean shaven man do you understand mm -hmm. me yep okay because it's almost like you know how you go to a barber and they have a straight edge like yep. that's like what i'm seeing him like get shaved in that way so I didn't know, I don't know if he went to a barber and got shaved like that, or if he had a straight blade or why I'm seeing it that way, but. Yeah. Yeah. He, did, he didn't shave with like an actual straight razor, but it was one of the old school, like razors that you would see at an old barber that had like the serious blades on it where you had to be careful. You know okay. what I mean? Like the bigger metal Like ones. a safety razor? Like a safety a... razor, but the big old metal ones that had the big Okay. Razor. See, I would not have a symbol symbol for that. I've never seen that before. So I'm yeah. I'm getting the closest thing that they can use my mind with, and that's why I'm getting that straight yep. blade, I think. Um, but he comes through a lot with that. Now he tells me his passing was quick or abrupt or unexpected. Mm. Is that correct? Tell me no if it's not. No. I mean okay. he he it wasn't don't quick. Tell, just don't tell me anything okay. else hold on a second okay. as, as long as his passing was not quick or unexpected let me figure out what he's trying to talk to me about i feel like he had multiple issues going on throughout the body like not just one thing multiple issues going on throughout the body and i feel like he was having did he have diabetes? Mm, no. Okay. I mean, we'll let that go. Not that we knew of. Was he having problems walking as well? Yeah, at the end he was. Yeah, yes. that's what I'm seeing. And I'm seeing a foot problem, like a problem with the foot. So I don't know if that makes any sense. Dude, okay, you're not talking about my grandpa anymore. Okay, I've somebody, somebody, Somebody else is talking to you right now. Okay, tell me who this is. This is my martial arts sensei that I was really close with. Okay. And did he have decade. diabetes or did yes. he hurt? Okay. And he did something to his foot because of diabetes. Yes. As he can yes. barely walk at the end. Yeah. Okay. This is him who's coming in. Absolutely. And see, Which, when, the, when the information is right, it just and, falls right into and, place. And the straight razor makes perfect sense with that. No. Oh, it does. Okay. He, so it he, makes he had a he shaved his head bald with a straight razor all the time wow that's amazing that's incredible yep. well this guy comes forward because he says you keep his memory alive every day he says you think about him every day i he do said, you think about the things he taught you every day like it's an every day thing and you the things that he taught you are like written on your heart kind of is the way he gives it there's yeah. also something being mentioned about a tattoo in memorial in memorial of someone that's the maiji for ishinru for the art that we did and that was for him get the hell out of yeah. here yep yeah. i had that i got that oh probably three years after he passed yeah but he and wow. i were, he and i were really close yeah holy shit. Yeah, I was closer with him than I was just about anybody in my family, except for my dad or my grandpa's. Yeah. Wow. You know what? I think he was trying to come through in the very beginning because I felt a very strong father figure. Uh, it felt very strong fatherly. And I actually wrote down, I have pages of notes, but I wrote down, I actually wrote down tattoo in memory. I don't know if you can see it, but I wrote wow. down. Over yeah, that's here. crazy because i was picking that up in the very very beginning 
Um, but see, they have to give me enough information so I know who they're talking about. And so his just piled up. But that is wild. Yeah, um, that's. I feel like he really is just kind of saying, dude, you're on the right path. You know, he's so happy for you. He is Bye. so happy for you. I want to say something that's going to be a little crazy because I do know a little bit about Carrie, okay? But mm -hmm. I want to say this partnership was divinely connected, okay? This was not a, oh, I just met, met my crush from a long time ago. No, this was very much divinely made to happen the way it did. Y'all were divinely put together. So I don't know if that helps at all, but I want you to know your loved ones pushed y'all together. Um, and it was the right time. And I do feel, and this is me, I'm dropping to a psychic level, but I'm going to just go and say it. I do feel like there's either going to be a very um, small type of reception marriage type of thing. I don't think it'll be big at all, but I do feel, and I know we're going way down the line here, but I do feel <laughs> like in the future, I know neither one of y'all are thinking about it, but in the future, I do feel like y'all get hit. So I don't know precisely. Get hit. <laughs> no I don't pressure. know precisely how. But yeah, I, I do feel that. no pressure. No pressure at and all. Just to come out with a card. This is the Joker. So the Joker is talking all about a new journey. It also can indicate pregnancy, but it is more along the lines talking about going on a new journey with someone. Um, so that's kind of the importance with this. I, I pulled a and card then, to you. And then y'all falling in like a deep love. And I, I shuffled the, the cards. I haven't, I haven't pulled any of the cards. They're all shuffled, but I shuffled them with the intention of y'all in mind. What did you pull, Shannon? Can you see that, Clayton? Yeah. This is, that, one, is that the seven or eight of swords? It's the seven of, no, it's the knight of swords. I'm sorry. The knight it, of swords. The knight okay. of swords. And I put, I do that too, just to see if there's anything else. Um, and what, what to me, what, what I was sort of hearing, first of all, I was hearing trust the process, which um, I know is for me, but it's also for you because there feels to be a very strong movement forward. And yet there's also a, um, it's not a warning. It's like a, just, um, just, not to rush so fast that you miss the details kind of thing so it feels as though there's this new as you said this new journey and i know nothing about either of you except from except that you're a mortician that's all i know ah. um and uh and well i guess you can spill the bing beans on what josh does too because she doesn't know yeah that. i have no idea uh, but okay. but don't tell me yet okay but to oh, be okay. People just finish i just wanted to say that there it feels like there's something like you're doing you're doing something but then there's also the feeling of um like a am very ambitious drive to run towards something full like you're so excited to do it but there's also and you're going to do it like you are not going to not do this you are so driven to do this and it is something you're going towards in a way that's like everybody move aside like move out of the way this is what's going to happen however there's also just a little bit of um like a not, not take heed nothing to worry about just also make sure that when you're you're not shoving out sort of the wrong people or shoving out so many people that you're also missing opportunities along the way in like if, as if you were running down this long road and there's like hey wait i can help but you're like no no just move but there also needs to be a bit of it's like the tortoise and the hare where it's like slow and steady wins the race because you also want to make sure that along the way you're not ignoring i, agree. Yeah. I feel like it's like what are they in video games like mana or whatever where it's like but you might have to grab your life jewels or whatever on the way i don't play video games i only voice them um so but there's something <laughs> like he's that. a voiceover actress yeah oh, so, cool. which is the only way i know what like mana is anyway but it's sort of like <laughs> there's little things you're going to need along the way like oh don't forget that key don't forget that jewel um okay. so just make sure that along the way you're doing that but it also is that feeling of it's going to happen don't, I mean, you've got this. It's just trust the process because on the way, there's also um, the feeling of, yeah, of sometimes being like, okay, well, it, there's there's a lot of not overthinking, but planning in a way that's very um, important. Like you need to, to cross all your T's and dot all your I's. Um, 
but also in your in your um, desire to get there, don't forget to sort of also just make sure that you're look not missing any details. Um, I guess yeah, you, you want to do all those things, but also um, not at the expense of of making it too complicated and overthinking it. I think is is sort of the feeling that I had. So does that resonate with you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, with both of us, I think. Yeah. Oh, great. Good, good, good. Yeah. All right. Now I want to finish the cards I pulled real quick. So yeah. as y'all know, the first card I pulled was the Joker. So that is the beginning of a journey. Or it, the Joker is the zero in the major arcana. So it's the first card of the deck. So it's really the starting of a journey. Okay. And then we have the next card is the two of cups. This is about a love, a very strong love. Um, this is also. I'm peeking ahead a little bit, but it's a very selfless love. It's not a forced type of love. And that's what's important here. And this love brings a lot of joy and happiness. So this is the nine of pinnacles. Pinnacles is the element of earth. And it also deals with materialistic things as well as money, finance, that kind of thing. So this is showing that finance, wealth, materialistic things are going to be on the rise for you guys. I don't know how that is going to come to play, but that's what this card is showing. Well, my kids and cheering. This card, <laughs> where I, what? I said, well, my kids cheering right now when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Sorry, Clayton. I didn't know. I, I had to say that. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> and the, the way I know that this is a selfless love is because if you look at this card, what is it? The Six of Cups. This is a selfless love. The mother is giving the daughter an apple, even though she has nothing else to eat. She's giving that to her daughter out of selflessness because she truly loves her. And that is the love that the two of you, if you don't possess already, will possess. And so that is just the four cards I pulled for you guys. So. I hope that is helpful and I hope y'all have gotten some good connections here and some good proof of the continuity of life. I'm happy with it. I hope y'all are. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm blown away right now. Man. Oh, that's Honestly. awesome. Well, the, the deal was to do the reading for you. And if we got anything for Carrie, we'd bring it through. But Carrie's life is so much out there. It's hard to get anything that it is, is. Not known. Yeah. And yeah. So you, there's nothing. So it was awesome to be able to get that and let Carrie see it because y'all will go and talk about this and they'll be like, oh yeah, there's no oh. way I've known that. <laughs> oh, well, I, I just, and now that, now that we're done, I will say something. And my mom is pretty empathetic and that's always run on my mom's side of the family. And my grandpa, who was one of the people you were talking about, her dad, he uh, he constantly would sit like in a trance in his chair and you'd go to touch him. He'd be ice cold. It'd just be weird. But then he'd open his eyes and he would just tell you the weirdest stuff. Like he'd predict the what the lotto numbers were going to be for the pick five or he would tell you something about something that was going to happen to a family member a little bit down the road or something weird. And as a kid, you know, you just go, eh, whatever. But as I got older, I saw oh, it more I and more you. and found it to be true. And then my mom started doing it to me and my mom will still to this day, every once in a while, call me up and, and, and say, I got a bad feeling about this person. You know, they're going to die, whatever. And you know, it, it usually, it usually comes to fruition. So, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a, I would I'm a, definitely say there is a lot of psychic ability within your family. That is something I would definitely say. And um, this is interesting. I pulled one more card just for funsies. Mm -hmm. um, and this is the card I got. It's the star, okay, which is an amazing card to get when I'm reading on a relationship because that's what I specifically put into the cards as I uh shuffled them the star is dreams coming true full happiness total complete happiness everything falling in its place that is the star the star is like 
everything coming together the way you want it within the relationship is specifically the way I want to put it. So, wow. but that is awesome about your family. I think there definitely is a lot of psychic ability and I think it's within yourself as well because I think you're quite empathic also. And I think that has kind of been a bit difficult for you to be honest uh, because but I, I think you're one who kind of wears your heart on your sleeve anyway. I, I, I do. And, you know, I know, again, I know it runs in the family, but I don't know if I just overlook it a lot of times or probably, or, or probably. if I just, yeah, if I just don't really see it. But the one thing that I have learned about myself, honestly, is to trust my gut. And, and to yes. me, it's, 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 yes. just, it's just, the, it's, it's the gut feelings. Because every time in my life that I have gone against a true gut feeling, it's blown up in my face in some yeah. sort of way. And and your gut is your intuition. Always go for it because your your soul, it's your soul telling you what's going on and your soul already knows your path. And so it's going to give you those feelings to let you know, hey, don't do this, don't do that. And it always works for your betterment so i'm uh, glad you say that and always it, listen it's to it. it's it's taken me until i've gotten into my 40s to listen to that and and finally start to connect with it and see it so, yeah for sure yeah. and that's basically what shannon and i do but to a higher level but we're basically using our intuition but like listening to your gut we call that clairsentience so you're listening to the feelings in your body, okay? But we have trained to kind of use our other clairs as well, the vision, the hearing, the knowing, all that kind of stuff. And the more you kind of do it, the more it all just kind of comes together, but. Well, yeah, it takes like practice. And I just- A lot it, of practice, a because lot. Even, you know, like um, it's about putting it all together. And, 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 but what you said, that's, only when I started to completely trust. And sometimes it's not that easy because sometimes I doubt my, you know, if I'm in some weird right. headspace, I'll be like, Am I, is that me? What I've learned is the more I just abs absolutely trust what I'm getting and just know, just say, just it's, there's a reason why you have that feeling or there's a reason why you know it. And when you just accept that and stop being a person, you know, the person in me wants to disbelieve everything. You know, the person in me is right. like, but I mean, like, really? I mean, I'm still a skeptic, even though I do medium. I am too. I'm yeah, like I still skeptic. question everything. And um, yeah. but when you start to find over and over that you're like, every time I trust my gut and I just say it, or or, and that doesn't mean like every single mediumship reading, everything is right. But it, even in life, when I start to trust that flow and go, you know what? I just know this, and and we're so accustomed to doubting ourselves or questioning ourselves um just i don't know by virtue of like being a human in this in the world thanks for watching and thanks for checking out the psychic reading that we did this last week it was fun i'm a little bit of a skeptic obviously josh was way more open to it i think which is why he had a much better reading and more specific things like scary scary specifics um this was a couple days ago and I mean, just reflecting on it after he has come up with all these things, even more so that he's like, that was spot on. And here's the story. And it's like, whoa. So pretty cool. Um, check out in the description of the video, Clayton shared a um, code that you can use if you want to book a co uh, psychic reading with him um, to check out his stuff. So thanks to Clayton and Shannon. We did have to cut the video kind of short right at the end. Got a phone call. Um, that someone was dying in the family um and so had to had to go but thanks guys see you on the next video <laughs>